Our media consumption is ever-evolving and is always updating. Watching a film in a theater was replaced by watching VHS at home, and VHS was replaced by DVD. But for the first time, there are two dominant forms of media consumption that are seemingly coexisting, cable television and streaming services. But which one is truly more dominant? According to a 2018 study by Variety.com, 33 million Americans cut cable, while the number of Netflix subscribers grew to 147.5 million. It would seem that cable TV is struggling to stay relevant, but one of the best ways to see what is relevant is to talk to the youth. What's happening? This is Enoch Bird coming at you from the SUNY Old Westbury campus, and today I'm interviewing students about cable versus streaming. Here's what they have to say. Do you still have cable? I do have cable in my house. I do still have cable. Uh, yes. And why? Uh, I mean, I've always had it, as long as I've been around. Do, yes. And how come? Well, you know, I like watching TV sometimes. When I'm home, I like to relax, eat some popcorn, and just turn the TV on. <laughs> yeah, uh, we could absolutely have, you know, during the cord-cutting revolution. I would do that as an individual, but uh, I'm a family person uh, with, uh, you know, teenagers in the house, and, and uh, um, there are still reasons to have a very expensive cable package. Are you subscribed to any streaming services? Uh, no. Netflix and Hulu. No, I'm not. I like Netflix, I like Hulu. Uh, no, um, no, I'm not subscribed to any of them. Do you think network shows should be aired on streaming services? Yeah, yeah. Yes, because then I wouldn't have to pay for cable every month, I just pay for Netflix every month. They should be streamed because it gives people more access. If you stream, you can do it anytime you want. Um, I don't think network shows should be streamed on uh, streaming services. Um, because these programs that they have are the only thing that like that Netflix doesn't have. It's important to have both, you know, both of both worlds. Do you think that in 10 years, we will only be watching media on these streaming services? Um, absolutely. Like, if you look at um, 2009 and 2019, um, in terms of who's sharing the market, streaming services, I think, are definitely taking the majority of it. Maybe like... Like a good 95 percent i don't i it's unlikely that everyone will be watching it on streaming like will be watching their shows on via streaming service because technology is taking over the internet is taking over nobody watches tv i don't even watch tv honestly i think netflix might take over that in 10 years um Either we're all watching streaming services online, or it's the next best thing. There's going to be something else in the future. I mean, I'm going to say, I'm going to be a little mixed about that. I mean, I don't, I don't think it's going to be yes. I still think they're going to still air them on the regular channels like they've had for many years on TV. Once we get beyond talking about the difference between cable as a platform and streaming platforms, then we have to recognize that there are people who are neither watching cable television nor watching Netflix what they're doing is they are engaging with media through gaming systems and gaming platforms that they're watching their media on their phones. And they don't care if it's, how it's coming to them. 